Hi there, it's Stieg Plantel. I'm going to discuss bone creation and joint orientation for a character so that you have predictable results and it all makes sense. If none of this is in order, your, your rigging will, will always be wacky, have inconsistencies, and really be frustrating. So let's just zero that out. Yeah, so you're going to want things to make sense. And you keep checking and testing. I have some students that feel like everything's not working. They just need to understand these joint setups a little more clearly. So let's do that. <clears throat> let's put this in template mode and start with a joint chain for the arm. If we go to Skeleton, Create Joints, the default is going to put you at X, Y, Y for primary axis, secondary axis, and secondary axis world orientation. This one allows you to point that secondary axis forward. I'm going to use Y, Z, and Z. So that Y flows down the arm chain and make sense to a rigger because if I hit F8 it puts me in component mode I could toggle it back and forth here but while you're in this mode you gotta make sure that you hit on local rotational axes so that you can see what the joint thinks you want it to do Right now, you have to go back to object mode and raise it up to get it lined up with the shoulder more accurately. I come out to the second joint and rotate it. This is the only time you want to rotate joints to set them up. If you do rotate your joints to set them up, please just make sure to freeze their transforms without the join orient on. If I selected this and clicked it, they would all orient to the world, my Maya Cartesian world. Turn that off and it will only, see, update on that one. To prove that, we'll look at it for ourselves in component mode and see that, yeah, the Y is pointing down on all of them. Let's reorient this a little bit better here. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Y. No mode and that all looks good. Cool, so let's get this knuckle joint placed in a more logical spot in the middle finger. Focus on it by hitting F. We're going to set up the hand and see how important all this truly is. Hitting Y, I'm going to make a knuckle back here and a joint chain that flows like this. We have one, two, three joints. I'm going to shift control, um, shift con click on that so that in parent mode, when I, when I go to edit parent, make sure preserve positions are on. You're going to parent that, and it's going to be a chain that flows right off the hand. You'll see that that's, of course, being built right on the grid. You can just move that up until it lines with the hand in a place that looks like it makes sense. Then we can rotate just that one joint and freeze the transforms without the joint orient on. Now we can see that Y is flowing through the whole joint chain and our primary axis of rotation will be X. It's pointing down from our viewpoint, our vantage point, but it truly is allowing us to spin this on just the X axis in a positive way and close this hand. Same with the next one. Okay. Let's do that with the rest. Y, make a knuckle for each one. Put the finger joints here. 
hit Y again. Not cool. Four joints for three bones. Now, when you come over here to, to do the one in the middle, you're going to start here, finish up that way, and just shift select here, hit P, and it makes the joint chain talk to the next highest joint up, which will be its parent. So here, when we move these all up, Place looking at the first joint, second joint, third joint. That actually looks like they're going to work out. So we're going to rotate these down on the x axis and get them all done at one time. I see the x axis, the z axis. See, the z axis allows us to position them. Of course, you can go in individually and do all that. You're just trying, it's like a chess game. Try to do as much as you can in few moves as possible. Because you're usually going back and redoing stuff because of mistakes or computer program errors or whatever might be happening. I'm hitting insert to move a joint independent of the whole chain and everything else. If you moved it without insert, what do you think happens? The whole finger joint chain moves. So hit insert. Put that in the position that you need. Going down the chain. And because they're oriented properly, you can just move them up and down and they'll move pr proportionately to themselves and the rest of the joints around them. So we're going to make these children of this wrist branch by using a parenting technique, hitting P, shifting, shift select the wrist, hit P. So now this whole branch is going to move all the fingers. But these are isolated on the end, now those can move independently. And it's time. Looks like the orientation of that needs to be adjusted. We hit uh, F8. Let's go check the other one. F8. That one looks good. Now these need to be oriented so the Z is pointing down, so that X is pointing out allows it to, no wait, let me check, let me check. I want it to move, it's moving on the X channel. So those are correct. It's these that I really want to make sure are correct as well. That's going to move on the Z, so we need to roll this one over. Now the way it was built, was good for some of it, but not optimal for all of it. So the power to reorient things is possible. Just pushing that one back up a little bit, or up to make it go to where I think it. I'm just using the arrow keys and the insert now to make this one land where I think it should go. Now these need to rotate. Right now they're rotating. Oh, I need to freeze that transform. Boom. Boom. Interesting. It did the one below it. Oh, I don't think that's what we want here. Fate. You know what? We want the X to be across. So let's go to orient joints here and keep it the way we like it and see if this orients the way we need it to be. Non zero transformations. We're going to reorient the children as well. Let's see, it's not quite what we need. We go to something X is X. Flip it around. Let's do the Maya default. Keep saying has non-zero solutions. That is true. If we just want to do that one joint, don't have joint orient on. Let 
z now right, here we go this is tricky because we want y to be on x to be on the side and y to be down the pipe here yes so of course our component let's just go into object mode and see if we can get a better rotation. Yeah, go to object mode that allows you to do things more it makes more sense and doesn't feel make you feel disoriented because <laughs> that that gimbal that was spinning prior to this was was crazy. We just want to spin the Z up. So yeah, use object mode. This is a tool setting. This is an object setting. This is a component setting. There's all similar, all these similar mod, uh, modification tools used in different ways. So keep that in mind. This makes it way easier to orient those properly. F8. F8. So in object mode. For the tool settings, we can get this to sometimes things won't work like you expect. That might mean Maya is needing to be restarted, or that you need more practice. It could be both. It could be neither. Just understand what you're doing and why and you should be fine and then stay cool first of all apply for these transformations I must have missed that one apply so now checking it Z points up but we want the Y on these fingers on these primary four middle and pinky fingers for the X to be flowing through the middle because that's the axis we're going to flow on or rotate on I nope. I just want that one. <laughs> okay, so that's all set up. Looks pretty good. And there you have joint orientations and setup for a character's hands. Oh, look at this. We're not done yet. We need to go spin it this way. Remember when object orientation mode. That looks really good. Checking X, X, is that going to rotate on X? Yes. And to check it, let's do that. Make sure X. Make sure it's all consistent. Are these rotating on X like you'd expect? Positive going out and negative going in. I guess I can handle that. Let's go. Positive rotate. Or negative will be closing in. Now that makes that makes uh, that makes it makes sense to me, and I like it. All right, there you go. That's how you might set up some joints for the arm for Slimer, so that you have as little complication later on when you go into rig everything up for controls. Thank you.